Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147, and I have a slightly sneaky peek um, of a new release from Carrot Dot Art. This releases tomorrow, the 20th of April. Um, they've got quite a few new releases over the next few weeks. Um, but this is the one I'm going to share with you all. Do keep checking out their website each week. Um, they've had a few releases the past few weeks um, and there are more to come. But this is part of their wonderful Wonderlands release and I've got one of the paintings to share with you today um, and you'll see why I like it. <laughs> Um, but the artist is Yaroslava Guskova. Apologies for any mispronunciation of that at all. Um, and this one is called Alice and the Black Rabbit. So a little bit of a twist with the Black Rabbit. Um, but yeah, I do... I do just love, I think it's just the mystique uh, and the mystery and um, the interpretations that you can take from Alice in Wonderland. Um, I think it's amazing. So I'm always attracted to Alice paintings and I'm losing all the little bits that come with this one. But look, isn't that absolutely stunning um so yeah it's called alice and the black rabbit yaroslava guskova is the artist name so it is licensed artwork it has an amazing 67 colors oh we've got quite a lot of ab's two four six eight ten ab diamonds in this which we'll have a look at to where they are because I love ABs in a painting. Uh, I personally love them to sort of be scattered about. So one of my favorite things to do is find out sort of where they are on the painting. Um, but the size is, it's 58 centimeters by 62. So it's slightly taller, sorry, no, slightly wider than it is taller. I think that's the way around it is. Let's just check that. Um, so is this one 58? Yeah, well actually, well my tape measure says it's 57. Um, so yeah, it's slightly taller than it is wider. Um, but that is some gorgeous detail. Little tea party going on. Um, she's dressed in blue. And yeah. Alice and the Black Rabbit. So let's have a look. So we do get in the kit, we have got um, some wax. Have also got some Carrot Dot Art washi tape, which is always handy. We have a bucket ton worth of diamonds. And then we do have the information sheet with the sticker sheet. I am going to quickly chop here. When I unbox, I like to keep hold of this bit, which will go into my logbook. Um, and then these stay with the diamond painting for kitting up. So we have all the symbols. Uh, we've got a mixture of letters, numbers and symbols. They all look really clear um, from what I can see here. We have got white symbols on the dark colours uh, and we have got black symbols on the lighter colours but they all look good from here. There is some amazing detail um, and confetti sections in her hair uh, which you may not believe but there is um, and say so that is the image and that's it turned into a diamond painting. Well nearly turned into a diamond painting. Uh, before I pull out the diamonds and we go hunting for some ABs, let me just show you a bit closer up what I mean by the confetti in the hair to give the lines that show sort of her curls. Um, there is some 
blocky sections not hugely blocky but there are some you know where you'll be placing a good amount of diamonds and then there's some confetti as well so a nice mix nice mix up but let's have a look at these colors oh, absolutely gorgeous we of course we have quite a few different blues we have some pinks peaches of course we do have some black though the rabbit itself is not done in sort of all black um in fact, considering it's a black rabbit, I'm struggling to find some of the black symbols. They are there, uh, but they're very much in some of the shading and not on the actual rabbit itself. Because, of course, even though it's a black rabbit, um, they don't look stark, stark black. Um, from what I can see, most of the 310 is scattered. Um, the biggest amounts are probably on her eyelids and on the actual parting of her hair. It's probably the most concentrated black. So it's not a 310 drama, should we say. But let's have a look at some of these ABs. ABs, ABs, where are you ABs? Let's give us the shiny. Give us the shiny. I think that's them all there. So quite a few ABs, not huge amounts of each, um, which means there should be quite a nice scattering. So let's start with 349 AB. Um, this one is a red one. It's the letter F. We have some little bits here on this red. We have a little bit here on the other side and a little bit over here. So just some highlights in the back of the chair. Do we have, we have some on a sweetie down here. And then do we have any in the teapot? Not that I can see. So primarily the, well, the main ones that I can see, of course, they sneak them in a few odd places is these bring out highlights in the back of her chair and the suite down here for that AB. 518 AB, which is this gorgeous blue. That's so pretty. Uh, that one is a dot. That is scattered in different places throughout her dress and her bow. So there is highlighted little dots here there's a there's a couple here which is part of her bonnet oh yes it is in the bonnet as well so it's it's scattered and say there could only be five or six in each little part of the tops of her bow and then it is on her dress as well but again scattered very much scattered which i like there is the odd little bit on the lace trim as well like we have two here one here one here one here one down here so yeah a, a proper scattering of sparkle i like then we have 743 ab which is a sort of yellowy orange for that one we have a little bit in her necklace a little bit down here uh sort of the trim of the chair and again this side there is two this side there is actually two as well so it's not a huge in your face amount we have a few here about six diamonds a place to trim out this plate we have a couple in the top of the plate stand uh, a few more on on the base of this plate a little bit around on the teacup a few bits on the handle and the gold trim around the jug and some on the trim of all the teapot. So all the sort of gold places, there is an odd little bit of sparkle to bring that in. Then we have 755AB, which is this mint green. And this is where it's like, 
is the mint green really where is it oh so this is also in her blue collar um, some of the trim around the side of her dress there's some in the bow so there's a little bit more of this in the trim than there is of this um, so the trim you get quite more of a highlight of this but it's still nicely scattered there's actually a couple in the tear that seems to be coming out of her eye up here um, and I can see a total of about four in the bonnet so um, it's it's primarily this one in the bonnet but then there is the odd little highlighted part of that one uh, then next we have 780 AB which is a brown the brown is sort of in some of the base so it's right across this bottom row um, the base of the jug the base of the kettle uh, there is some in the trim of the cup um, and again in some of the sort of cake cases and things again very scattered also in the cake cases on here have we got any more just keep double checking the symbol oh there is some bits in more detail on the back of her chair so there's a bit more there and there is a scattering throughout her hair um, so for example there's this is sort of a hair piece in between her fingers there is like four or five scattered within there it's not all intense and it's scattered throughout these confetti lines that make up her hair so that's where most of those are <coughs> then we have 819 ab which is a pale pink most of that i think is down here oh no there is some scatterings of it in her arm down here quite a bit of it is on the likes of the cup the jug and the teapot where the white meets the red there's quite a scattering of pink there pink ab's not so much on her chest oh actually it's not her arm it is the steam coming out of the cup that has the ab's not her actual arm and um, there is also a couple of them in the teardrops the teardrop from her eye and there is scatterings of it in the lighter part of her hair so nice scattering there then we have 961 ab this one is there is one on her lip and there is a couple in her eyes in her actual color of her eyes but most of this seems to be in with this darker stripe um, scattered in there is actually a few more places where it's a bit a bit more chunky it's it's this sort of wave of color around that stripe and then the scattering of the light pink is sort of this sort of part if you look at where my little finger is going so there's a scattering of the light ab there and then the scattering of this darker ab here and there's bits of it on all of those stripes on there there's also some on the cup though it's more based at the bottom and a little bit at the top and then there's a scattering throughout the cupcakes and the sweets so those cupcakes are going to sparkle there's also some on just just a bit on some of the stripes on the back of the chair not so much concentrated in this darker area more where it gets a little bit lighter then we have 342 ab this one is again in her dress and her bonnet um, but it is more the actual dress underneath the trim scattered throughout scattered on the line of the bunny and then on her bonnet 
instead of it being scattered in this top part of her bonnet it's it's sort of this bottom part just above where this darker shade comes in there's a scattering in there uh, say there will be the odd ones placed in other places there is some a scattering on her bow and there is a few more on her bow here to team in with the others then we have 3843AB um, that is scattered primarily in parts of her dress there is also some on the bow of the black rabbit i'm trying to see if there's some that i've missed that are on the black rabbit as well no it's mainly that letter t that is that is scattered on the bunny of the black rabbit and say mainly in parts of her dress and then last but by no means least we have the 5200 ab which is a diamond that is again scattered in the trim of her dress and it's mixed in with 5200 itself um, so you actually get both it's in the steam coming up at the cup it is scattered in the bow on the side of her dress we also have some scattered on this cup and this cup and the teapot as well so just to try and show you how much it is scattered when it comes so this diamond diamond symbol is the white ab but the n is actually just white so you're just getting a little hint of it in between this tick mark is the pale blue ab so again, while you're getting a bit, it's still scattered in with all the rest. And then this darker slash symbol, this white slash symbol, is that other blue that's an AB. So you're just getting a little scattering underneath and sort of round the bunny's ears, um, but not huge concentrated amounts of it. I like that AB placement from what I can see. Um, it's always different, of course, when you're doing it, um, but I always like a scattering of AB and I think, I think they've highlighted some good things there. They've highlighted her hair, her dress, her bonnet, of course, Alice herself. Um, there's a little bit highlighting the black rabbit within the bow and then we're highlighting cakes and tea and all the nice pretty things that we get to eat um, so yeah this is alice and the black rabbit this will be available at carrot dot art tomorrow the 20th of april i so say they have got releases each week um, and i've been lucky enough to be able to share this one with you so i will pop a link to their website down below so that you can go and have a look for yourself and see what else um, they have you know been able to bring to you as well but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon